So yeah, that was really cool. I actually like that a lot. I think that might be my favorite GOT7 song already. Hey everybody, how's it going? I've got another brand new music video reaction slash review coming at you today. And this one is for If You Do by GOT7. And this is a pretty quick follow-up to their last song, which I did really enjoy. So it should be really interesting to see what they do this time. Let's check it out. Super 80s synthesizers. Seems to kind of be a trend at JYP right now. Forget it. Alright, I was kind of thinking this was going to be like an 80s ballad, so I'm, I'm glad it picked itself up a little bit. It's a really clean sounding mix. That kick drum is really sticking out though, but I kind of like how they did that. this being like a really clean sounding mix this is like a way more mature sounding track for them very different kind of sound i think i really like it though that's cool, put like a little element of EDM with that riser in sort of an 80s sounding song. Not really something you might find as much in an authentic 80s song, so it's cool to kind of mix the old with the new. <laughs> I thought that said BTS, I was like, wait. I don't care. Just do whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me. I'll just go to sleep. Every day, every day. I love that weird tone in the background there. And the like alternate vocals, that was cool. This song's obviously supposed to be kind of like frustrated, angry, um, like some negative emotions, but it has like a really cool like uplifting part of the sound in the arrangement and songwriting that's kind of like underlying everything else. I really like that. It's like a little bit of like hidden positivity amongst all of the sort of like angst and hurting and everything else that seems to be going on in the music video and the message of the song. So yeah, that was really cool. I actually like that a lot. I think that might be my favorite GOT7 song already, but I do wonder if other people and you guys are going to like this as much because a lot of people like the sound that they've done previously, but this is really a departure from that, which I'm really enjoying just now, but it is enough of a change that I wonder if some other people that are really big fans of them already are going to accept that change or if they're going to want them to keep doing what they have been doing without evolving kind of radically musically. And the first impression I got as I'm kind of listening to this is that it sounds much more mature, which I think 
think I mentioned already during the video, but by mature I mean it sounds kind of like they've matured as artists, they've kind of taken a different musical direction. It's more musically developed with the songwriting and the performance that they gave, and it did kind of remind me more of 2PM, which I don't think is a bad thing at all, that's not how I mean the comparison, because I look at 2PM like a really good established group, and GOT7 is still a fairly new group that's definitely less established than 2PM. So I see it as a big positive that you can draw some parallels between 2PM and this song, and I think it shows that GOT7 is working their way into being a more established group like that, and will continue to kind of improve and evolve as they go. And I think that's very important for a group that has kind of come out recently and tried a few different styles. They haven't exactly like been set on one style or one concept that they can do really well. They've kind of tried a few different things. So for a group that's kind of more dynamic like that, I do like to see them kind of settle into some styles that might really benefit them and kind of accentuate their abilities. So anyway, let's go back through, watch this music video again, and analyze it and see what we can find. So it's me again. Kind of an interesting mix. You got like a Terminator movie soundtrack synthesizer and yeah I went there and acoustic guitar definitely kind of an 80s sounding bass even though that that kind of sound isn't really locked into just being an 80s sound um, in context it kind of is vocals are very very upfront um, very compressed, very in your face, but I think that's necessary for a song like this, especially with the raps. I also want to mention the choreography for this song looks really cool. I'm not a choreography person, I'm no expert or anything, but it just looks visually really cool. As I mentioned before, that kick drum is really sticking out. I'm kind of wondering if most of the rest of the track is side-chained off of it. And basically what that is, is when the kick drum hits, everything else gets instantaneously quieter. That's what a sidechain compression setup is, very basically. Um, it seems to be maybe what's going on here, because it's just really sticking through the mix. It gives it like a great rhythmic center. Love that filtered out thing in the backing track. Still going here. And back to some like rhythm guitar stuff. That's really interesting on a track like this. It gives it like a nice texture, but still very clean sounding. It doesn't clutter up the entire mix. Really nice group vocals, very smooth. Um, definitely some harmonies in there, not like a ton of dense, stacked, jazzy kind of harmonies. Uh, but there's definitely a lot in there. Um, they're a little bit laid back, a little quieter in the mix, but it works very well for this type of song. Going to town on that punching bag. It's up to you if you want to break up. I really like these kind of alternate vocals. Like a storyline element. Do whatever you want. It sounds almost like a baby crying, that tone in the background. It's kind of an interesting singing style they're going for. It's sliding around on the pitches a little bit. Ad libs here and the vocals are a little quiet. I guess that works well though, you, you wouldn't want them sticking out too much in the track, so I don't mind that. Uh, but it is a little bit hard to pick out the really cool ad-lib vocal stuff that's going on, because they are pulled back a lot quieter in the mix than a lot of times they usually are. It did end a little abruptly, I guess, but it wasn't really awkward, so I don't really mind it. And yeah, this was a really great track by GOT7. I enjoyed it a lot. Now that I've heard it like six or seven times, it's definitely my favorite song by GOT7 so far. But if we're counting JJ Project in the mix, this is not my favorite song because Bounce by JJ Project would be my favorite GOT7 song if you count those all together. But other than that song and as GOT7 by name, I think this song really shows off their abilities the best out of anything they've done so far. And I also just really enjoyed the composition, you know, and I think 
GOT7 seemed to enjoy it as well because their performance and execution on this song seemed really, really smooth, really comfortable. And usually a song kind of subconsciously conveying that feeling is a song that the artist really related to or enjoyed doing. So it's really nice to see that and I can't wait to see what they do next. They kind of keep changing their concept and trying different styles. So I really don't know what to expect and they definitely keep it interesting. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this reaction slash review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can share this video all over the place, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter forums, all that stuff really helps us out, and I'll see you guys next time.